assalamu alaikum everyone okay today i want to show you or demonstrate you how to run the generative structure analysis in cartel v5 actually this one is a new chapter our new chapter is chapter sheet chapter strip is generative structure analysis okay i want to show you step by step okay for today actually we have uh, one model is bridge model k trust bridge model okay first step you need to make sure your tree only have one part body if you have two part body this uh, analysis will fail uh, run okay therefore your first step you want to do is to apply the material okay you just find the material icon this one actually the apply material account if the icon is missing you need to go right click and then you just click apply the material for example this one you see if you want show back you just click apply material okay click apply material and then you choose a material you want to use actually for today i want to use this steel okay this place is steel overall steel okay just select steel material the steel and then i click the three part body okay and then you can click apply material and then click okay if you want to see this material already apply or not apply you need you have a uh, two method lah. first method you can go to the three if the material still already appear here that means a material already apply or you go to view and then you change shading with material the shading is changed to the black color like this actually already apply the material okay sometime okay sometime the material properties you need to change based on your question for example you can google to material okay you can google is mat material website for example if you want to change the material for example has a specific uh, tensile strength something like for example today i go to just shoes <coughs> still <coughs> metal or iron iron one zero six zero for example you have this website actually have little bit error okay. if you have specifically uh, ultimate tensile strength which area you need to change you just right click on this material and then uh, in this icon still and then you go to properties then you go to analysis and then you can change any uh, type of young modulus portion ratio density of material thermal expansion or heat strength okay if you already uh, apply material you need to go to new workbench for analysis actually you go to analysis and simulation and then go to structure analysis and then start the analysis okay before we start analysis you need to know the condition for analysis okay for you understand okay based on this question you see this bridge actually need to based on uh, this example bridge analysis condition you need to define bridge analysis condition which area because this bridge actually have a uh, two pillar pillar 1 and pillar 2 this pillar actually mount to the land of ready piling into the land therefore we can uh, identify is a fit support f1 fit support and second fit support okay and then what you need to know is the maximum load for this uh, bridge need to cover actually 
for this question you need to cover maximum load of five truck one two three four for each truck is five uh, five thousand eight hundred kilogram therefore you need to time five lah, to distribution as a distribution load for this bridge after you understand this condition you need to apply to your katia uh, katia condition lah. first first what you want uh, first step you need to uh, clamp the pillar pillar one and pillar two okay first you just click restrain and then you find the clamp clamp actually to mount uh, actually we assume this bridge uh, mount to the land okay yeah. this pillar first pillar second pillar and then you click okay and then the next step is to apply the load actually uh, truck move on in this uh, basement lah. okay and then you just click distribution load linear force and then you see this one actually distribution force Okay, before we apply, we need to see, uh, to calculate first. Okay, I open the clutter. Okay. Based on this condition, you need to calculate 5,877 times 5. And then you need to convert into gram because uh, you need in this Katia load force vector is Newton because you need to convert into uh, gram and then you time 100 1000 sorry okay and then you time 9.81 to change from the gram into Newton point eight one okay now you need to put your load is two hundred eighty nine thousand okay you just put two hundred eighty nine thousand at the z value why you need to put as a negative for example I put a positive value for example just copy lah, more easy. You copy, select all, copy, and then I paste. Okay, paste. Wait, sorry. No, no. This layer the formula. For example, okay, we apply distribution load. load then the load should be okay. just copy okay example okay exponent 7 217 okay for if you put the positive you can preview the direction to above because the direction wrong but you need to change to to bottom lah and then you just click the negative value okay after finish you click just click okay and then after that what you need to do is to compute to compute you just click this icon compute then you click OK, your computer will run analysis to create a mesh, automatically mesh, OK. And then you click, just click OK, just this one, just uh, their warning, have a tetra mesh, 116 uh, content with 14 element geometry, just, just information. Then you click uh, yes. 
Okay, after finish, you will get the result. Okay, first result you will get is you will need go to image, then you will get the first is the deformation for this bliss. Just uh, okay, deformation, and second result is one misses. Okay, this actually one misses result is most important. Uh, if you want to calculate the factor of safety of this bridge okay and then you can see also the result for transliteration displacement okay that mean for example okay this truss actually will support the bridge if not this truss do not have a truss maybe the bridge have a, a poor strength therefore you can see at the middle point have a uh, lo load uh, distribution very high compared at the uh, left and right side yeah actually this uh, function of the truss you teach in solid mechanic how to calculate a truss uh, strain something but this show uh, this experiment show the result okay okay and then you can see now we proceed to our slide. First, I already show to you uh, one missile stress. You need newton meter or pascal. Newton meter equal to pascal. Lah. Okay, alright. Next, second displacement. You need mi uh, millimeter is six for six point four seven. Very small displacement. Actually, very small, 6.5 because the bridge is bigger, but 6.47 is just small displacement you cannot see by your own eyes. Actually, this uh, bridge -ish condition is quite okay lah for more or confirmation of your bridge is condition safe or unsafe. You need to calculate your factor of safety. Okay, now I want to show you the basic formula. For calculate factor of safety, factor of safety equal to ultimate tensile stress divided by actual stress. Okay, ultimate tensile stress equal to yield stress. If you learn in solid mechanics, before the part brittle have a yield point, that is ultimate tensile stress. Actual stress actually is maximum warm missile stress you can obtain from your uh, simulation. Okay, actually, okay, this is uh, uh, table one. Actually, show is a condition for each field of engineering. If, for example, if aircraft component, you should be should get your factor of safety around one point five until two point five. This is a safe condition. If below, then this condition is unsafe. You need make sure your design should be should be 1.5 until 2.5. If more than 2.5, actually your design is over design. Maybe if you want to reduce the weight or price of your design, you should follow this uh, table. Okay, this table actually I get from uh, citation from Maria and Rotters 2000. Uh, 16 you can see uh the journal okay okay for example okay now i want to show you uh to calculate this uh, uh bridge uh, factor of safety okay first example first okay how you want to get your ultimate stress ultimate stress based on before that is yes strength okay how you want to get the value of yield strength you just go to your model then go to the material material you apply okay and then go to properties then you can see the yield strength 2.5 exponent 8 equal to 250 uh, megapascal okay and then how you want to get your actual stress you can get from your experiment one misses maximum stress 1.79 or 100 149 megapascal based on this design you already uh, divide 200 uh, 2500 
divide 149 equal to 16.77 that mean if you see uh, this result you need to show to this table if the structure uh, still in place should be 5 until 7 that mean our design is over design hopefully you understand what I want to explain on this chapter thank you for everyone if you have any question and answer we can discuss during our webex class okay see you for next tutorial